we're off to the store to get some of those Rubbermaid boxes because I like to put my photo albums in them because if they're stored in the storage unit, I'm afraid if it ever gets flooded, my pictures would be destroyed. And some pictures are old, so I don't want them to get destroyed. I do want to scan them when I can. I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. That's a project for the future. For now, Rubbermaid boxes. Here again at Goodwill. I got Rick with me this time. Oh joy. <laughs> I think we're here a couple of times a week. Where did this stuff come from? I have no idea. It's not like we buy stuff. I don't know. But it's going. I know that. Found my boxes. Not too bad, $4.97. I've been suffering from vertigo all week. You don't know what that is, it's like when you're spinning, but I'm pushing onward and forward. A lot of them hanging onto the shopping cart, or one of the kids, or Rick, I'm okay, but I haven't been able to drive all week. Every day gets a little better, but boy, those first few days were bad. I could barely get out of bed. It's something I've been dealing with for 30 years. Nothing new comes and goes. Time to go home. I want to pack some of those photo albums tonight, see how much I can get done. It's such a beautiful evening. It's cooling off. There's a little breeze out here. Really enjoying it. But I wanted to tell you about this new channel I started following. Her name is Sarah Norse. You can subscribe to her channel if you're interested. She talks about minimalism. She's an American citizen, married to a man from Switzerland. They were living here in the U.S. and now they're living in Switzerland. It's really interesting, but she talks a lot again about minimalism and that type of lifestyle and now that we're downsizing again the minimalist lifestyle interests me because I just don't want to own things. I want to talk a little bit about spending money on things versus spending money on experiences. Everybody's different. Some people want a home, you know, a homestead, and animals, the gardens, things in their house, antiques, and that's what they love and that's, you know, makes them happy. I think you need to do what makes you happy, what you love, what, what, where you find joy in life. That's what you need to do no matter what people think or say. For us, we've been through different stages. We first got married, we lived in apartments pretty minimal. We didn't have much of anything. Built our house on 10 acres, big workshop, you know, wood workshop, and we had everything. Plus a shed and two ponds, trails. It was a, like a park. It was a wonderful piece of property. It was great for the time we were there, but I felt like it was time to move on and I wanted to experience something different. I wanted to see more and travel more, but at that time we weren't at that point yet. The kids were little. In my mind, I didn't even think of being able to travel. I looked into living in a RV full-time as homeschoolers, traveling the country, actually before they were born. Once we had the house, I was already on to my next dream, even though I was enjoying it. I always liked looking towards the future and what else can I do? Doesn't mean I wasn't enjoying where I was and appreciate it and I was grateful for everything I had, but I always liked having a plan for the, the next step. I always thought traveling in an RV with family would be awesome, so we looked at that the last 20 years, I never really thought it would work out until now because of trying to figure out how to make an income. I know there's many ways for camping and, and things like that, but now with the internet really taking off, I know it's been around for a little while, but it's easier than ever to make a full-time income online with social media and just everybody's online. And with YouTube, I just think it's a possibility now for people to make a full-time income online and that's our goal is to do that completely so we can travel around the world not necessarily in an RV I don't think that's in our near future maybe in the future future after the kids are on their own maybe Rick and I will do that you know later on but for now we just want to see different countries cities states just and and not be in a rush not being on the road because that's on a, with the regular vacation that's how it is you're always rush 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 getting in the car you go you see a cave, you back, back in the car and 
We're on the road again. So you're just exhausted. I remember saying to Rick when we went to see the caves in Kentucky, told him I could spend a couple of months here seeing everything it has to offer because we saw signs for this cave or this cavern or this park or this hiking trail. We didn't have time. We had like a couple of days in that area. So that's why I like to live in an area and experience. But I don't want to buy anything anymore. I'm not saying I'm not going to buy something again in the future. I really don't want to have to own anything. I want to be able to be free to to experience what this world has to offer. If there's a way to jump out of a plane, I would like to jump out of a plane. I don't know how I'm going to do it with a bad back. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. I'm going to have to investigate that. Hand gliding, can I do that with a bad back? Mm. I'm not afraid to do it, and I would like to do it, and then I can show you a little GoPro on my head and off I go. <laughs> so if there's a way I can do it without hurting myself further, I'm going to, you know, do things like this. As you know, we're looking at cars and I show it to you on YouTube how beautiful these different vehicles are. But when you think about $50,000, I'm like, where can I travel in the world for $50,000? I could travel everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a lot of money. Any income will be from working online so we appreciate you when you shop on our Amazon store or share our videos or share the links that we have in our description box because it helps us continue to bring you some more interesting videos and helps us grow our online businesses so we can can do this otherwise it's not really possible at least not for us so again Thank you in advance for sharing our videos and telling people about us because that makes our dreams come true. And it's because of you folks. Yes, things versus experiences. What do you think? Do you prefer to have things? You know, do you collect? And then there's nothing wrong with that, you know, collecting your antiques. And I'll be honest, I do like antiques and I do have a box, but I've narrowed it down and only allowed myself to have only one Rubbermaid box of antiques. Back when we had our 10 acres, we had plenty of antiques in our workshop and uh, everyone in the country seemed to be collecting things so it was easy to find. And it was fun because there's always history behind that. But now I prefer to just go to these different places and, and see. And that's why I would love to take the kids to Spain, for example. And I'd like to see the other countries where there's so much history. I follow Las LeBlanc, if you don't follow him. He's, he's a, a young man, very interesting. He's in Thailand at the moment. And everything you see is like historical and it's ancient and it's amazing. And when we were in Spain, Rick and I, we were there. Last time we were there and it was 1998, so I'm sure it's changed a lot. But, you know, the castles and the old walls that were built, you know, hundreds of years ago where Christopher Columbus slept before he set off to the New World, places like that. It's, a, it's history and it's places we could see and explore. And I love the smell of where we are and the culture, immersing yourself with the, the people. And I just learned so much that way. And I just, I just love it. I prefer experiences. So I could say that now because I've already had things. I enjoyed those things and then I'm done with those things and I'm ready for more experiences. You, we all know that when this life is over, you're not taking anything with you. The things we have here in this life are only really borrowed. We're only using them for a little while. So I don't feel like I need to hold on to these things. I'm finding that I need less and less things. I don't even want to buy anything. And you know what's nice about not buying things? <laughs> it's less money you're spending and then you have more money to spend it on things that you do need. Every person is different and how we live our lives are different. Like I said before, there's a million and one ways to live a life. I'm pretty excited for the future. It's going to be exciting and you know, I hope you will follow us on our journey. Cause it's no fun to have this excitement and not have anybody to share it with. And then, like I said, kids, you know, are at that age we're pretty soon they're going to be living their own lives and it's just Rick and me and you folks <laughs> so I hope you're hanging out with us for the long term we don't even know what's going to happen or where it's where it's going it, I feel like I'm in a movie that I don't know you know what the ending is or, or what's happening next like a little suspenseful story maybe not as exciting as some of the <laughs> movies on tv but for us it's still all exciting just because we don't know you know exactly what's gonna happen next thanks for being here as always if you like this video thumbs up tell me what you prefer things or experiences or maybe both